A former member of Pauline Hanson's One Nation has described the party as a brutal dictatorship. The revelation comes in tonight's Four Corners, which has also uncovered financial and tactical deals that have left a trail of disgruntled members. Caro Meldrum Hanna reports. Hello. Hi. On the campaign trail in Western Australia, Pauline Hanson had a clear message for the electorate. We don't cheat, we don't lie, we are up front with the people. Yay! The public promise isn't always matched by backroom behaviour. Four Corners has obtained a secret phone recording, revealing discussions between Pauline Hanson's Chief of Staff, James Ashby, and the Queensland Liberal National Party about an agreement not to criticise each other's candidates ahead of the state election. It indicates he's prepared to play as hard as operatives in any major party. But I also kindly reminded him if they choose to change that agreement, we have plenty of ammunition on their candidates as well. Ian Nelson is a former One Nation treasurer. He has his own perspective on what goes on behind the scenes. It's a dictatorship. It's an absolute brutal dictatorship. Brutal. When it comes to fundraising, Pauline Hanson has long maintained her party doesn't accept large political donations. Our donations are comes from the small people because I never want to be compromised. But internal party communications obtained by Four Corners shed new light on the role of a Victorian property developer in the organising of a $100,000 plane. If I had anything to do with the transaction, I said yes, disclose it for heaven's sakes, because it's been used to ferry Pauline Hanson around the state. The property developer in question has denied the purchase. Pauline Hanson declined to answer any questions. Caro Meldrum-Hanna, ABC News.